you've given us, God. We thank you for um, bringing us in. And now that you've brought us in, God, we ask that you bring us out. Yes, God. Bring those that are in bondage in their mind, bring them out. Yes, God. Those that don't have no peace, Lord God, give them peace today. Yes, Lord. Lord, those that don't have any hope, God, yes, give them hope right now, God. Yes, God. Give them strength right now, Lord God. Yes, God. Fill us with your anointing right now, God. Give us what only you can give us, Lord God. More of you. We desire more of you, Lord God. Touch our minds today, God. Touch our hearts today, God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God. As we release everything that angers us. Everything that bothers us, Lord God. All the stuff that's on our heart that's, that's heavy, God. We, we cast our cares before you. Knowing that you care about us. We turn our, we turn our husbands over to you. Our wives over to you. Our children over to you, our finances over to you, our hands, we turn them over to you, God. We turn them over to you right now, Lord God, because we know you know what's best. We turn our hopes and our dreams over to you, our desires, we turn over to you. We submit our will to your will, God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We ask right now, God, that you breathe on us right now. Breathe on us right now. Breathe on us, God, by your spirit, Lord God. We need you right now, God. We need you right now, God. As somebody that's running out of steam, God. Yes, God. Fill it with your Holy Spirit even more, God. As someone that don't think that they have any more strength, strength in not, God. God. The word declares that you do exceeding and abundant more than we can actually think, Lord God, according to the power that work up in us, Lord God. This you that's in us. For we are not in ourselves, Lord God. And we thank you right now, Lord God. Let someone realize who they are in you. Let them know that they can go to heights unknown, Lord God. That you've already blessed them in heavenly places, Lord God. And we bless your name. And we give you honor. Lord God, bless this word today, God. The people that will hear your word today, that their hearts will be open to receive from you. Lord God, we don't want to be the same way we were when we came in. Lord God, we want to leave at, at your feet, God. And we thank you in advance for what this word will produce. And what it will produce in our lives, Lord God. We take hold of everything that you have for us, Lord God. We ask that you forgive us, God, for anything we've done, anything we've said, God. God, forgive us for any task that we've messed up on, Lord God. Forgive us for not loving the way that you desire that we love. And we ask you right now, please, Lord God, have mercy upon us. Give us a new start, a fresh start, Lord God. A fresh anointing, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. Forgive us for not doing right by our God, our brothers and our sisters, Lord God. Forgive us for not loving the way you want us to love, God. Forgive us for being stingy, Lord God, and not giving, Lord God. Forgive us for not giving of our time and our money, Lord God, and our service and our resources, Lord God. Forgive us right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We know you've got another chance. Forgive us for not worshiping you as we ought to, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God. Forgive us for not keeping our minds stayed on you. Have mercy on us right now. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Come on, give the Lord a shout of praise. Amen. Come on, give the Lord a shout. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. That's what I'm talking about. Amen. That's what I'm talking about right there. Amen. Give the Lord a shout of praise. Amen. Amen. You all get seated in the presence of the Lord. For God is good. Amen. God is good. God is awesome. Amen. Amen. We give him praise. Amen. God is good. We are certainly happy to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Amen. We are certainly happy to be in the house one more time. Amen. The scriptures say, I was glad when they say, let us go into the house of the Lord. There's something about being in the house of the Lord. Amen. Really, there ought not be no other place that you want to be. Amen. 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 If anything, they ought not, not only ought to be on your list, they ought to be first on your list. Amen. Somebody say, it's first on my list. It's first on my list. Amen. Those of you all, it's not first on their list. You got to make it first on your list. Amen. The house of God should be the first on your list. Amen. You ought to desire that more than anything. Amen. And so we bless God for being here today. We know that we are not here. Amen. Of ourselves. Amen. We're here because it was the spirit of the living God. Amen. Amen. It prompted us to be in this house today. Amen. And we bless God. How many of y'all just bless the Lord? Amen. 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 How many of y'all amen. Uh, truly, truly think about the goodness of the Lord? Amen. 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 
Amen. I believe that we just thought about the goodness of the Lord. Yeah. Not focus on what we don't have. Amen. Yeah. We focus on the goodness of the Lord. Amen. I believe joy will start filling our hearts right then. Yes. Amen. Amen. Because in spite of what has happened to you, God is good. Yes. Amen. About two of y'all think he's good. Amen. Amen. God is good. Amen. 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 Maybe, maybe if you say it sometimes, amen, you, you'll start believing it. Amen. The Bible says faith come by hearing the word of God. Amen. Come on, somebody say God is good. Come on, just say that. Amen. Come on, open up your mouth and just say God is good. God is good. God is good. When God is good, nobody will have to pick you up. Amen. Amen. Say that again. When God is good, you ain't coming to service, so nobody will pick you up. Amen. When you know God is good, you'll already be up. I can't hear nobody. Amen. God is good. Amen. He's faithful. Amen. He's given me everything that I need to run this Christian race. Amen. Amen. We know what the scripture says. The Bible says, amen. The preaching of the cross is foolishness to those that perish. Amen. It's foolishness. Amen. Amen. To those that perish. Amen. For those who don't understand what the cross meant for us as believers, amen, now, it is foolishness to them that perish, but those of us that believe, we know what the cross means for us, amen, amen, the cross don't mean death for us, the cross means, come on, I'm alive, amen, and he bought all of my, come on, he bought all of my sickness, come on somebody, all of my disease, amen, my hang-ups, amen, amen. Amen. All of the things that I couldn't get right, amen, I was able to get right because of Jesus Christ. Oh amen. amen. And so because of him, I'm whole. Amen. I ain't whole because I come to church. Amen. Folks come to church all the time. I still ain't whole. Amen. I ain't whole because I have no money. Amen. I ain't whole because I'm married. I ain't whole. Amen. Because I got a good job. Amen. I, I'm not whole because I got degrees. I'm only whole because of Jesus Christ. Without him. Amen. Without him. I will not be whole. Amen. Amen. You can have, amen, married people that's unwhole. Amen. Amen. A lot of people, amen, they got money, but they're broken. Amen. A lot of people have been around the world, amen, and they still hurt. Amen. But when you got King Jesus, somebody say, I got King Jesus. I got, I got King Jesus. Amen. Um, then you'll be made whole. Amen. You're whole because, of, watch this, you're whole not because, amen, you feel that you're whole. You hold because you know that you hold. Amen. 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 Because we cannot walk this walk by feelings. Amen. 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 You can't get through this walk based on feelings. Yes. Yes. Because if you try to um, walk this walk based on feelings, amen, you'll be on the merry go round. Amen. You'll be on the merry go round. Some of you all don't like merry go rounds. Amen. Amen. So I don't want to live my life based on how I feel. Amen. I have a command as um, you can say, I, I have to command my I have to command my hands to praise the Lord. Sometimes you don't want to lift your hands. Right. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. But you have to make your hands. Come on. Yeah. Tell your hands. Yes. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. To bless the Lord. Yeah. Sometimes you don't feel like opening up your mouth. Amen. Yeah. But you have to tell yeah. your mouth to yeah. open your mouth. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Sometimes you don't feel like dancing. Amen. Amen. But you got to command your feet to dance. Sometimes you don't feel like running, but you got to command, amen, your feet to run. Amen. Amen. Um, your, your flesh should have control over you. Right. Your spirit should have control over you. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. When you are spiritually where you need to be, amen, you will enjoy the things that God wants you to enjoy. Good. But when you're walking in your flesh, it's going to be hard. Amen. 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 Stuff will come your way. Somebody said, will come your way. Amen. 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 Will come your way. And the enemy will try to come and attack your happiness. Yes. Amen. 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 He will try to come and attack your freedom. Amen. 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 But you have to be determined no matter. Amen. If he come or not. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. I'm going to praise the Lord in his face. Amen. 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 y'all understand. Amen. You got to praise. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. You have to praise, amen, the Lord in the enemy's face. Amen. By two of y'all doing that. Amen. You have to learn to praise the Lord in the enemy's face. Amen. Some of you going through something right now. Amen. I'm here to get out of it. Amen. 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 I'm here to get out of it. You're going through something. You have to praise the Lord in his face. Amen. Amen. 
study somebody seeing you looking mad. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, put a smile on your face. Amen. Amen. Study somebody. Amen. Seeing you being cast down. Come on, lift your hands to God. God. Say, I thank you. Amen. Amen. I thank you. Even in spite of what I'm going through. Amen. Amen. We have to praise the Lord. On Thursday night, we had a good time on Thursday night, though. You all came. We had some Bible studies on Thursday night. That's why it's so important to come to Bible study. Somebody said, come to Bible study. Amen. Because really, this is how the church is supposed to look, even on Thursday nights. Amen. Even on Thursday nights, this is how the church is supposed to look on Thursday nights. Amen. Amen. Because it's not the Sunday crowd that moved the crowd. Come on, come on. Come on. It's not the Sunday crowd that moves the crowd. Come on, somebody. It's the Thursday crowd that moves the crowd the Sunday. Come on, somebody. Amen. And so on Thursday night, amen, you ought, to, you ought to command your body to come to church on Thursday night. Amen. Amen. I see a good father tell his kids what they need to do. Amen. So since I'm your spiritual father, amen, you need to be the church on Thursday night. Amen. 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 We don't just come to church. We don't want to get one. We don't just come to church on Sunday. That's right. Amen. 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 We got to come to church on Thursday nights. Amen. 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 Uh, I think I told somebody the other day. I believe we had to speak at Pastor. I had to speak at Pastor Kennedy's church on on um, Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, one of those days. And I was telling the people there, the only way that we, um, matter of fact, by show of hands, how many how many folks got a job? By show of hands, how many folks got? A job? Okay. Amen. So now, the only way we excuse you to not come to church on Thursday night, or one day a week, if you go to your job one day a week. They mad. Right. 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 That's the only way we excuse you not to come to church on Thursday night. Amen. So you're not excused. Amen. Of course, unless you work on Thursday, I understand. Uh, of course, we nobody don't. Amen. Want you to lose your job. Amen. But for those of you that can, man, push yourself to come to church on Thursday night. Amen. Amen. Push yourself to come to church on Thursday night. Amen. 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 We're not condemning you. We're just telling you what you need to do. Amen. 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 You need to come to church on Thursday night, just like Amen. Your job will see you. Amen. Other than one day a week. Come on, God will yeah. see you. Amen. 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 So on Thursday night, um, amen. Hopefully the ones who, amen. Let me keep on going. Amen. So on Thursday night, amen, we did a good message on Thursday night. I believe it was good. It blessed me as well. Amen. Um, the title of the message on Thursday night was, um, he's breaking it off. Amen. He's breaking it. Come on, somebody. Amen. He's breaking it off of you. Amen. I say he's breaking it off of me. He's breaking it off of me. He's breaking it off of me. Amen. Has anybody here had some bad habits that was broken off? Yep. Amen. Amen. Has anybody, has anybody, Amen. Uh, has anybody here besides myself, Amen. 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 some stuff that you used to do, but now you don't do no more? Amen. 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 Hopefully there is. Amen. Hopefully as you get older, Amen, you don't do the same thing you used to do when you was a child. Amen. 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 The scripture even says, when I was a child, what I thought I was a child, but now that I am older, I have put childish child things away. As you get older, you have to learn to put childish right. things away. Amen. 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 Um, there there ought to be some things that you ought to put away even if you ain't saved. Right. Amen. I can't hear nobody. Amen. Amen. You can't club forever. Right. I'm on somebody's street already. Amen. 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 You can't club forever. Amen. Amen. And there ought to be certain things that, man, you ought to be able to look at your circumstances and look around and see, amen, this time has far passed. Amen. amen. There ought to be some times, amen, there ought to be a, 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 a situation where maybe you roll up in the club, I can't hear nobody. Amen. And folks doing stuff that you can't do no more. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. There's some new dances out here. Some new, come on, somebody. Amen. There's some new stuff you can't do. They ain't bumping no more. They ain't doing the bump no more. They ain't doing the bump no more. Amen. 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 They ain't doing the toilet bowl no more. I can't hear nobody. Amen. They ain't doing the running man no more. I can't hear nobody. Amen. They doing a whole different type of stuff now. Amen. There ought to be something that should remind you of who you are. Amen. 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 Amen.
but now it's got it on now, and they tell you you look good in it, they lying to you. Yeah. you know, amen. So, because they're trying to get something. I'm preaching already. Amen. Some of you already got what I'm trying to say. Some things, amen, you got to move past. You got to say, uh uh, I just don't look good in that no more. Amen. I'm going to stop. Come on, so I was a size 8 I ain't talking about nobody. I'm just saying, amen. Uh, like, but I ain't what I used to be. Amen. And I can't fit that no more. Some things you can't fit no more. Yeah. You got to say, listen, listen, I don't know, I don't know what I got to do, give it away, sell it, whatever, but I got to get rid of it. I can't hear nobody, amen. I'm preaching already. It's some stuff that you got to get rid of. It's some stuff that you got to get rid of. You know, sometimes when you get rid of it, you have it around the house just in case. I can't hear nobody, amen. Break in case of emergencies. I can't hear nobody, amen. It's some stuff, amen, just because, amen. You don't know if you're going to start getting that feeling some more. Amen. Amen. You start getting that feeling. You start feeling yourself. You might go break it and put it on. No, you should have got rid of it. I can't hear nobody. Does anybody got something in their closet break in case of emergencies? <laughs> I just wish I was to have some honest people. I want to go to I want to go to church with the honest people. At, amen. Do anybody have anything? Amen. In their house, some of y'all, amen, got some weed break in case of emergency. Some of y'all got some Heineken break in case of emergency. Come on, somebody. Some of y'all have some relationship break in case of emergency. Some of y'all have some attitude break in case of emergency. Some of y'all have some places that you don't need to go no more break in case of emergency. Some of y'all have some dispositions break in case of emergency. Some of y'all have some mindset that y'all. Something going on with God. I don't know what it is. I've 
and trying to figure it out, but every now and then I think there's something going on with it. Because for the life of me, I cannot figure out, amen, why I can't get past this test. I, come on, for the life of me, I'm trying to figure out, amen, why my money can't go to another level. For the life of me, I'm trying to figure out why my body, amen, just won't start acting right. For the life of me, why my husband won't do this, why my wife won't do this, why my children won't do this. And I'm trying to figure out why I got to go through all this hell on my job. I'm trying to figure out why I can't find a good friend. I'm trying to figure out, amen, why I can't get the elevation. Does anybody here ever felt that way before? Besides me, why y'all looking at me like I'm from Mars? I know there's somebody in here, amen, that had that person with the Lord. Maybe that's why you look sad today. Well, maybe that's why you can't smile right now. But even while I'm looking at you and you looking at me in your mind, and you're thinking, my God, why me? Why not you? Why not you? Amen. The man of God had a stop sins. That's why, listen, that's why, listen, that's why you got to keep your eyes on the Lord. Amen. 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 I know it's hard. I know, I know, I know it's hard. Amen. Because um, sometimes things, amen, uh, um, demand your attention. Yes. But you ought not let things demand your attention more than God. Jesus. Amen. I can't hear about it. Amen. And so in other words, you got to fight. Somebody say you got to fight. You got to fight. Amen. Amen. Whatever it is that you got to do, amen, to have your blinders on because some of us, we got tunnel vision, amen. Some of us, amen, we believe what we believe. We see things the way we see it. Nobody can't come on. Nobody can't make us get up off of that, amen. But there's nothing wrong with that. You got to be the same way about God as you are about your own stuff, amen. Sometimes, amen, your way of thinking ain't based on nothing, amen. If I were to ask you where you got it from, you'll say Big Mama said it, amen. You'll say Papa said it, amen. You'll say it was passed down to me from generation to generation. And if I ask you, you won't ever be able to go in the Word. Come on, somebody. If you can't go in the Word, Come on, somebody, and justify your action. You ought not. Amen. You ought to be able to go on the word to justify your actions. Amen. You can't go on the word to justify your actions. You are not doing. Amen. 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 Sometimes we look at folks. We look at folks. Amen. And all of us, been, all of us have, have been there before. Amen. Some of us are, are, are past that. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Maybe we're going to look at folks on the level of God taking us off. He has to do what he got to do in us. Amen? Right. Amen. Right. I believe that in every elevation to certain, a certain degree, amen, we begin to look at folks because that's how we are. Amen? As long as we're in this body, come on, somebody. Amen? Uh, we're going like crazy every now and then. That's why we thank God for the Holy Spirit. Amen? That's why we got to thank, thank God for the Holy Spirit that illuminates us. The, 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 the Holy Spirit that lies, that, that guides us. Amen? And unction us. Amen? And when we're doing something that we ought not do, the Holy Spirit say, oh, you need to be thankful like that. Come on, somebody. Amen? amen. No, the Holy Spirit tell you, no, you need to sweep around your own front door. I can't hear yeah, nobody. Right. Amen. The Holy Spirit tell you, no, you need to have all this stuff together. I wish I had some out there. Amen. Come on. Amen. Uh, the Holy Spirit tell you, now, you might not lie about this, but you lie about that. I can't hear nobody. Some folks ain't lying to people, but they lie to themselves. A lie is a lie. A lie is a lie. I wish I had some out there. A lie is a lie. Amen. Some folks ain't lying to people, they lie to themselves. Amen. And that's the worst lie you can tell to yourself. I can't hear nobody. Amen. You got to be honest with yourself. That's why you got to sweep around your own front door. You got to sweep around your own front door. You got to sweep around your own front door. Come on, take that and say, sweep around your own front door. Sweep around your own front door. Come on, tell them, amen. Sweep around your own front door, amen. Sweep around your own front door. Amen. And so watch this. And so the man of God, um, he has a conversation. Listen to what it says. It says, for well, I was envious at, uh, uh, at the food. <laughs> Oh, now, 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 I was, now, I, now, I, now I, something got to be wrong with me, amen, if I'm envious of a foolish person. Right. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Amen. Yeah. Something got to be wrong with me if I'm, if I'm, if I'm in. Because I said, um, have we not declared that we are God's people? Yeah. yeah. Have, have, have we not declared that? We declared that, listen, that we are a royal priesthood. Have we not declared that? Yeah. Have we not declared that we are God's people? We are his children. Yeah. We are the chosen generation. Yeah. We are set apart. Have we not declared that? Yeah. And so if we declare that, something got to be wrong with me after making that making that declaration, it has, something has to be wrong with me for me to be bothered by a foolish person. Right. I know that. My two of y'all got that. Something got to be wrong with me. Amen. But something got to be wrong with me if I say, then listen, in Christ I have everything. In Christ I am what? Complete. In Christ I am satisfied. So something got to be wrong with me for me to look at a foolish person and be envious of them. Lord help us. He said, for well, I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. When I saw the prosperity of the wicked. When I saw, he, listen, he ain't saw, he ain't get envious, 
amen, uh, of them, he got images of what they had. Oh, help me right here. Oh, oh. Listen, you got, to, you got to understand. Listen, you cannot be thing true. Okay. I wish I had somebody. Amen. Okay. I wish I had somebody. Amen. You cannot. Listen, there's nothing wrong with things. Amen. But things shouldn't have you. Amen. That's why I said, you got to listen. You got to wait. Thank you, Holy Ghost. You got to wait on God's time. That's right. Because if you don't wait on God's time, you'll begin to want things. And some of us in the trouble we in because we want we want. We want things. Amen. A lot of us don't want things because uh, a lot of us don't want things because we just want it. Amen. We want things because how it looks. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So true. Yeah. I wish I had somebody. Amen. We want things because, amen, the messages that it's seen. Yeah. Yeah. Can't hear about Amen. Because really, a roof over your head is the roof over your head. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Clothes on your bike is just clothes on your bike. Come on, uh, uh, shoes on your feet is just shoes on your. Come on, somebody, amen. But uh, we want what we want because it put us in categories, amen. Because you see me with this, you like that. Come on, somebody. If you see me with this, you like that. Can't hear nobody, amen. And so he says, "This is." He say, I, I, "I was envious at the foolish when I saw, when I saw the prosperity of the wicked." Come on, somebody. Be careful what you look at. Be careful, be careful how you see stuff. That's right. <laughs> so I saw what they had, and, 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 and I wanted it. Amen. And, and come on, uh, uh, listen. If you think you got it, you ain't gonna never wish you had it. Amen. Amen. Hmm. I let that sell on the floor. Yeah. Amen. Amen. If, 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 if you got it, you won't ever wish that you had it. You can only wish that you had it if you don't think you got it. Jesus Christ, I wish, I wish I had somebody. But God said he's already given us everything that pertains to life and to godliness. So if God said he's already given us everything that we need, what you envy is for? <laughs> but the problem is, amen, is that most folks don't think they have what God said they got. Amen. And the reason why they can't, uh, they don't believe they have it, amen, because they're walking by what they see. Yeah. Yeah. They're not walking by faith. Right. They're not walking by what God said they had. Amen. And I know some of you, amen, are looking at me real funny, amen, and say, I know what you're saying, Pastor, but I still want to see it. I know you want to see it, but you got to see it spiritually yeah. before you take hold of it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Amen. Amen. So we got Bob. He said, he said, for they are no what bands in their what yeah. Yeah. But their strength is firm. 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 <laughs> but they strength is firm. I said, God, you know, they not only not only do they have everything, it's like they're going to have it. Uh -huh. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. Like, like he ain't even care in the world. Has anybody been not supposed like that? Amen. 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 Yes. Come on, somebody. But there are, amen, some things, amen, that you think that's okay with you, and God said, I'm going to break that off. Thank you, Lord. Can't hear nobody. That's why we got to thank God for the Holy Spirit. Yes. Amen. Yes. Because we don't decide what needs to be broken off. That's right. That's right. Jesus Christ. Amen. God knows what's best for us. Yes. He, said, he said that I stand out with what? Facts. We have more than the what? The heart can wish. He said the eyes stand out with fat that they like to pop. Okay, you know about it. Amen. You see, like they like to pop. They have more than their heart could wish. That's enough to make folks mad, right there. Yes, sir. Amen. I can't hear about it. Amen. That's enough to make folks mad. Because especially, watch this, especially when you are trying to do right. Yes. I wish I had somebody. 
Is there anybody here that's trying to do right? Amen. Is there anybody here that's, that's, that's trying to do what God wants them to do? Amen. And, and, and now, amen, uh, see like the more they try to do right, come on somebody, amen. amen. The further that I bless them, move away from them. Is there anybody here besides me? Amen. It feels like that every now and then. And the more you try to do right, the more that bless them back up off of you. Amen. Amen. But listen, but the Bible says, the way to a man that seems right. He says there's a way to a man that seem right. Yes, yes. Some folks feel like if they just come to church. Mm. Come on, son. And I understand. Um, and, I, and I walk with God. And we, and we all grow at different stages. And some folks feel like if I just come to church, you ought to be happy. <laughs> come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. That was okay when you was a baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't hear nobody. Amen. Amen. But you ain't no baby no more. Amen. That don't work no more. I just, you ought to be happy that I'm coming to church. You made me come. You ought to be happy. You ought to be come. But no, no, you, it ain't about just coming to church. Yes. It, it, it's about, amen, what you deposit and what you allow God to deposit in you. Amen. Amen. Right. Right. amen. Listen, uh, listen, if, 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 listen, if I owed you money and I told you, amen, I deposited it into your account, right? <laughs> At the onset, you're going to be okay. Right. But after a while, you're not just going to come on, take me telling you that I deposited. After a while, you're going to look into the account. Right. I wish I had somebody. Amen. Amen. After a while, you're going to look into the account. And guess what? And when you look into the account, you want to see that I have made the deposit. Right. What are you saying? God saying, uh -uh, not only, amen, I hear what you're saying, amen, but I, I hear what you're saying that you got it, amen. But when I look into your account, it's not there. Right. I wish I had about five people, amen. God wants to see come on, the deposit. In your account. Jesus. He wants to see it in your account. Because once it's in your account, then guess what? You start spending it then. Right. Yes. Come on, somebody. Once it's in your account, you can start using it then. Amen. Okay, hear about it. If you say you got joy, use joy. Amen. If you say you got peace, come on, write a, write a check for peace. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. If you say you got wisdom, write a check for wisdom. Whatever we say that we got, we should be able to write a check for it. Right. Amen. Amen. There should be evidence of, come on, somebody. We should be able to write a check for it. Amen. If you can't write a check for it, then, amen, something happened along the way. This did something happen with the transfer. Amen. Can't hear nobody. Amen. Amen. Anybody that had something happen with the transfer in their bank? You can't hear nobody. Amen. Yes. Anybody ever had some stuff to buy? I wish I had somebody. Yes. Amen. Yes. I know I got some check bounces in here. Some check bounces. Amen. amen. Come on, somebody, amen. Because you ain't playing for that. I just wish I had some honest people. Amen. Amen. Some of y'all can't to be a red line. Come on, somebody. Amen. Yeah. And it don't feel good. So I said, and so now, so, so, so for those of you that have check bounces and you red line and did all this other stuff out here and it don't feel good, some folks just live like that. Yeah. Some folks just live on paying fees. Yeah. Well, I, know my, I know my bank won't cover it. I just pay a $35 fee. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. But that ain't where you want to live on, boy. That ain't where you want to live on, girl. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But there are some folks who are embarrassed enough yeah. to make sure that the money is in there yeah. to yeah. cover yeah. what comes through. Yeah. I wish I had somebody. Amen. Yeah. You ought to be the same way in the spiritual realm. Amen. Yeah. You ought to have enough deposited in you that when things come your way, you will have enough in your account to handle it. Yeah. Uh, five of y'all got that all ready. Amen. You got to have enough things deposited into your spirit that when the storm comes, that when the problems come, the stuff arrives, you have enough to cover it with. You don't have to always look for a prayer team. Right. Yeah. I can't hear nobody. Because you deposited enough prayer in you. Come on, somebody. Amen. That, 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 that when, 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 when financial situations come, you don't have to come for God. Amen. Because you've deposited enough. Come on. You've used what God has said. Come on. And so when those, when those times come, amen, you don't have to look crazy. Amen. Come on, tell you, you got to look crazy. You mean? You got to look crazy. You, mean? you don't have to look crazy. Amen. Listen, so God wants to break some stuff. Off. Somebody say, break it off me, God. Break it off me. Amen. Come on, say, break it off me, God. Break it off me. Listen, go to, go to Romans 8, 28 right quick. This is a memory scripture. You should already know it. Amen. Listen, and as you go there, listen, uh, we talked about, we, we talked about, amen, as God begins to break stuff off of us, amen, 
God has to discipline us. How many, how many of us have kids? And, amen. Um, he has to, somebody say he has to discipline us. Yeah. Yeah. He has to discipline us. Amen. Everything that's happening with you, everything that's happening with you right now, I want to say this. Everything that's going on with you right now is not anybody else's fault. Amen. That's the only way I come from. I don't care where you come from. That's the only way I've been through. I don't care what you've been through. That's the only way they did me. I don't care what, come on somebody, what they did me. Everybody been through something. The Bible says there's nothing new under the sun. Under the sun. Yes, sir. If it happened, it didn't happen already. Amen. Ain't nothing new. Check out my new kids. No, they, 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 they just don't be did. They just don't be did. Amen. Amen. Check out my new kids. They just don't be did. Yeah. Everything has happened, has happened. That's right. That's the Bible says there's nothing new about the sun. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's nothing about the sun. So whatever you're going through, amen. Listen, we're not being insensitive to what you're going through. Listen, but we're not going to allow what you're going through to shift. Yeah, Jesus. Oh, Jesus Christ. We're not going to allow what you're going through to shift what we know. Yes, yeah. Amen. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. Listen, listen somebody can be hot. If somebody can be, listen, uh, if, if, a, if, if a joker owes you money, right, and you have a point, and you tie them all your money. And you go to them about your money. And they start crying. <laughs> that crying ain't gonna bother you. <laughs> I can't hear nobody. You, 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 you won't politely say, huh? <laughs> Where's my money? I can't hear nobody. Amen. Amen. Because guess what? Because your focus is on what's yours. I'm preaching already. Amen. Listen, your focus got to be on what's yours. I can't hear nobody. Your, your focus, watch this, your focus cannot be on what's trying to attack what's yours. Your focus got to be on your peace. It can't, come on, it can't, come on, you can't look at what's trying to attack your peace. Your focus got to be on your healing. You can't look at what's trying to attack your healing. Your focus, come on, somebody, got to be on what God has already said that's yours. So, so, so God and God said, He said, peace is yours. Amen. Come on. Listen, stop being a wimp. Amen. I said on Thursday night, it's, 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 it's funny to me how we was thugged out in the world. We was ready to ride on the world. Girl, they messing with you. <laughs> they mess you on oh, Friday. We're gonna be right there with you, girl. We're gonna be right there with you coming up in there. Why you banging down into the club? <laughs> Come on, somebody. Not to bend down. We'll look up. Come on, we'll look up. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Ah, I can't hear nobody, amen. Some of y'all was loves like that in the world, amen. Anytime anybody wanted to do something, y'all was ready to roll. Ready to roll. Oh, I don't see them joking, man. I don't see them. Oh, we're gonna open it up. Okay, well, we're gonna open it up. We don't care what they say. Crazy when we get there. I bet you that you on the low up, you ready to fight, you ready to do all that stuff. Now that you in, come on, now that you in the low, now you soft. Now that you in the low, you don't know what to do. Baby, this is just like you got your weapons when you was in the world. You got to get your weapons now that you in Christ. The weapons of our warfare are not common, but they're mighty in God to put it down a stronghold. You got to get your shield, you got to get your sword. Church. 
And God calling us to change the world. He calling us to, come on, he calling us, amen, he calling us to bring glory to him. He's calling us, amen, to make the world. Instead of us being envious of the world, God calling the world to be envious of us. Listen, listen, let me say this. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me swerve for a minute and I get back on the road. I promise you. Amen. Listen, we say what we want to say about the Catholic Church, right? Listen, the Catholic Church don't sell them chicken them. Uh-uh. 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 They don't do none of that stuff. If the Catholic Church, if they had church right now, and they say we want to build a facility, and it costs $5 million. By next year, we want to have $5 million. That's what the Catholic Church coming down with. Say that. Say that. Yeah. But let the church say, we're going to take a year to raise $30,000. Oh, they be all quiet now. Let the church say, we're going we gonna, to we gonna spend a, a year raising $30,000. That ain't no money, y'all. But the enemy wants y'all to think that's money. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Let the church say, the black church is specific. Joseph to go to jail. He allowed Joseph 
Joseph to be mistreated by his brother. He allowed Joseph to be lied to. He allowed, come on somebody, amen. So don't tell me what God, listen, and God allowed it to happen because God was trying to bring a change. Yeah. Yeah, nobody. Listen, some of y'all don't want God to allow it to happen because you don't want to come on somebody, amen. Listen, you want the stuff, but you don't want the change. I can't hear that. But you ain't going to get the change unless you go through some stuff. You ain't going to get the change. You ain't going to get better unless the heartaches come. You ain't going to get better unless the disappointments come. You ain't going to get better unless somebody lie to you. You ain't going to get better unless somebody walk out on you. You ain't going to get better unless you go to the cross. You ain't going to get better. Come on, somebody. Unless you lose some friends. You ain't going to get better unless you lose your house. You ain't going to get better unless you lose your car. You ain't going to get better until you feel like you're about to lose your mind. You ain't going to get better until your body is wrecked with pain. Purpose you, you got to know this working out. Yes, it is. Jesus. And I said, God allowed all 
Because God allowed these circumstances, right? He allowed these circumstances. Because listen, so you ever thought about the listen, the way you thought, think you are, you not. Right. Yes. Like two of y'all. Everybody, yes. yes. you're gonna think yourself yes. how you are. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. I know you miss good at two yes. shoes. I know you miss good at two yes. shoes. Yes. Amen. But listen, there's some things, watch the self, there's some things that you ain't where you think you are. Amen. Amen. And sometimes God saying, listen, I got to allow this to happen because I need to break that off of you. Amen. To show you that you're not what? Yeah. You think you are. Yeah. You ain't where you think you are. Yeah. Right? And, and, and sometimes that's the hardest thing, come on, for God to show us where we really are. Yeah. Yeah. I told you, because it feels better when we able to blame other people for thinking we better. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Amen. Look, God said, oh, I got to allow this to happen, amen, to show you, you, not them. Amen. Yes. I can't hear nobody. Amen. God, God is, you, you're not ready, thank you, Holy Ghost, you're not ready for God to show you nobody else until you allow him to show you you. Right. Because once he shows you you, then guess what, you're equipped to handle other people. Amen. Amen. I can't hear nobody. Amen. And then, then you're equipped to handle other people. Yes. Until he show you you. So, 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 so if my heart bad, how can I have a smile that got a bad heart? Can't do it. Let's do it. I can't hear nobody. Amen. If I don't have the faith I'm supposed to have, how can I have a smile that won't have faith? I can't hear nobody. If there's something wrong with my love walk, how can I have to have some, I have a smile who don't love? I can't hear nobody. If I don't forgive like I'm supposed to, how can I have somebody to call somebody who's dealing with unforgiveness? Amen. So sometimes God says, no, baby, uh, what's happening to you is a, you in school. I can't hear nobody. It ain't that I don't want it to happen for you. It meant that listen, you got to pass this class. You got to take this course. I can't hear nobody. Listen, take that. You got to take the course. You got to take the course. You got to take the course. Amen. And, and you can't listen. And you cannot drop the class. Right. Jesus. Jesus. Can't drop it. I know you want to, I know you want to drop the class. Uh huh. Baby, you can listen. If you keep dropping the class, listen, you'll be a 15 year old first grader. You'll be 15 years old in the first grade. Come on, somebody. And then, guess what? Then, guess what? Then you really gonna look crazy. Yeah. Because both of them talk your big old self. <laughs> 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 it's your big old self. What you, what you doing? It's your big, come on, with your big old self. Right? <laughs> right? Zion, Zion had a game yesterday, but he played against a kid. Why? Why? I, I'm going to the bank. I was no 14 years old. What, like a grown man? I can't hear nobody, man. Grown man, not just his body. How you play the game? Grown man, like this boy, he can't be 14. I thought, listen, listen, I thought about him this morning. Again. Yesterday, I was talking just, I could have had something just took his fingerprints and scanned it to see who he is and where he comes from and who his mom is. He came from the land of the giants. I wish I had somebody. Amen. But watch this. But, but, but watch this. Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. But he needed that. Although he played a pretty solid game, it was two of them on the team, as a matter of fact. Two of two big babies. <laughs> <laughs> and so although he played, uh, I'm preaching right now, although he played, although he played a solid game, watch the, although he played a solid game, listen, there's some stuff that he had to learn from that. Right. Yeah. It was a little uncomfortable for him yeah. because he had gone somewhere that he had never been before. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And so you need folks to help manage you through this stuff. Yeah. Because guess what? Because listen, if you don't have folks to help manage you through this stuff, you'll sit down. Yes, you will. Some folks ain't have folks to help manage them through stuff and they sit down. Yeah, yeah. I can't hear nobody. Amen. And see, when you sit down, you ain't sit down on people, you sit down on God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People don't call you, God calls you. And so you need folks up and around you to get it done. You manage this thing that he be able to tell you, no, it's gonna be alright. Uh uh. You need to see it was good that you was afflicted so that you may learn. God's trying to break stuff off of you, amen, because guess what? You still plain old sleep. Jesus. I can't hear nobody, amen. Come on, somebody, amen, let's be honest, amen. Some folks just plain old sleep. Some stuff just breaks stuff. Some stuff, listen, some stuff, listen. And anybody ever move to a new place that you took some old stuff with you? Yeah. I wish I had somebody, amen. Everybody who move in a new place don't got money to buy 
buy new furniture. You wish you did, yeah. You wish you could say, you know, I'm going to leave everything in this house. When I go, I declare it in the name of Jesus. When I get into my new place, I'm going to get nothing. Everything going to be brand new. But reality hit. Amen. You got to bring our regular couch. I can't hear nobody. You got to bring our bed. Come on, somebody. That you don't pop up on bricks. I can't hear nobody. You got to bring some, come on, some microwaves that ain't as hot as it used to be. Because you didn't do what you're supposed to do with the money you're supposed to do it with. And you thought that you was going to buy new microwaves, new beds. Come on, somebody. Amen. But now you got to take it into the new spot with you. And you got to look at it. And you are going to just wish that you had it. Come on, somebody. So, and so, and so we have to allow, so some things we carry with us yes. into this new, new place. Mm -hmm. God said, I'm allowing this to happen because you're my children. And the yes. Bible said, God chastised those. Y'all mad now? Y'all yeah. mad now? Nobody want no whooping. Nobody want to get in trouble. Nobody won't know, nobody won't discipline. Nobody won't go through. So I think um, uh, First Lady read something to me now, but they said um, they recommend now you don't beat kids. Oh, yeah. First of all, the enemy is going to do everything he can to wean us off of what God said we supposed to do. Amen. And so we want to buy into it. Right? Nobody, everybody wants to be free. Everybody want to be free. Everybody want to be free. Us free. Us free. Right? Everybody want to be free. But nobody want to pay the cost for being free. All right. All right. It costs to be free. You don't just get free just to get free. Okay? It costs to get free. If you want to be free in your mind, baby, you got to think something else. I can't hear nobody. If you want to be free in your body, you got to eat something else. I can't hear nobody. You want to be free in your finances? You got to do something else. Yeah. Yes. 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 I just want the Lord. First of all, God going to rain down money. <laughs> right? You spend your whole life um, wishing for a money tree. <laughs> it ain't going to happen, baby boy. It's not going to happen. You got to be, listen, God has already prescribed how we can be rich. Amen. Come on, son. He's already told us, amen, how you cannot be a robber. That's right. That's right. All of us the It's a robber's in your mouth. <laughs> no, I don't rob God. I ain't no robber guy. I ain't never, I ain't never like Jack Boy, but now you want. Like Jack Boy, that's it. That's right. I ain't never, I ain't never like Jack Boy. I ain't never respect the Jack Boy. I ain't never. But now you're a jack boy. you a jack girl now. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm past, I'm going to steal. Yes, you do. Yeah. The Bible said, Will a man rob God? Yes, he will. And his tithes and his offerings. And if you don't pay your tithes and you don't give your offering, you a thief. You robbing God. And you don't even have no mask on. I'm trying to go. You don't care if they see your face. He said, if a man don't pay tithe, he don't give an offering. If you don't pay your tithe, if you don't pay your tithe, the Bible said that you are a thief. Yes. My God. You don't pay your tithe and give your offering. The Bible said you're a thief. Now, if I call you a thief, you'll get mad. I ain't no God say you're a thief. I didn't say no thief. He said, if you don't pay your tithe and give an offering, the Bible said you are a thief. That's right. That's right. And the Bible says, listen, a thief cannot what? Tell me this. Come on, somebody. Right? right? So, so guess what? So, so you ever thought about that the reason why God whooping you? Because you're a thief. So let me ask you something. So you don't think thieves should be punished? Yes. Or now y'all see it differently now. So, so if I hide your account. See, so now I gotta come get you since y'all looking at the Marshall. So if, if, if I hike your account now and somebody had just left you a whole bunch of money, or you got your own money, and I hike your account, and I take all your money out your account, and you find out that I stole all your money, your last, all your money, 
and they come to tell you, they say, hey, uh, Mr. Man, we found out who took your money. Brother Charles took your money. Come on, somebody. Right? And he took all of your money, not some of your money. Oh, I love Brother Charles and all that, whatever y'all got to do to him. Do it. I wish I had somebody. That's what we do to God. And so guess what? But here's the thing about God. Thank you, Jesus. But here's the thing about God. So, so your circumstances, right, that you're going through right now, right, because you may have been a disobedient child, that God has to chastise. Amen. But he's not chastising you. There's a difference between chastisement and punishment. Amen. Yes. Yes. Chastisement comes with love. Christians can't be punished, but they can be chastised. Yeah, amen, amen. It's only criminals that can be punished. Yeah, amen. But now that you're in, in Christ, yeah. stop looking at it as a punishment and look at it as a chastisement. Yeah, yeah. And so God is chastising you because you ain't doing what you're supposed to do. Yeah. And the Bible goes on to say that he chastised those who he loved. So he's chastising you because he loves you, not because oh, he don't love you. He chastises you because he loves you, and he's trying to use that chastisement to break something off of you. Amen. And hope that you listen. And hope that listen. You won't do it no more. And hope that listen. You will be a loving child that's supposed to do what it's supposed to do to bring what glory to God. Because everything that we do is supposed to bring glory to God. If we don't bring glory, glory to God, then God allows or he creates circumstances to happen. But you got to know, although he allowed these circumstances to happen, or he created these circumstances to happen, you got to know all things work out for the good of those who love God, those that are called according to his purpose and his will. You got to know that. You got to say to yourself, God allowing this to happen, amen, to work on something come out of me and through me. Ain't no woes me, and you about to fall out, and you don't want to serve God no more. You ain't, you ain't that. Listen, I understand, listen, I understand uh, in ministry, sometimes folks get, you know, when they work, if you're not careful, you can get burnt out. Yes. Right? I've been saved since 1996. Got saved, got ordained, um, got ordained in 99. 1999, I got ordained in 1999. Right? So listen, here it is, how many years later? 20. Right? All these years later. Right? Right? So guess what? You don't think that nobody, you don't think that nobody, you don't think that, listen, listen, uh, we ain't Superman. Right? Right? So listen, so guess what? You don't think that my strength will get you? Right? But you want me to understand when you can. <laughs> you, don't, you don't think I get tired? You want me to understand when you get tired? Right? Oh, uh-uh. Oh, Pastor, I need to break. Oh, really? <laughs> You've been going two years, you need to break. I've been going since 1996. Non-stop. Non-stop. Right? But it's the strength of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Right? So just like God has to break stuff off of me. Yeah. Break stuff. I ain't saying I ain't saying man I was then. Amen. I ain't saying I, I, I ain't the same man this morning that I was last night when I was playing right. down. That's so true. Right, man. That's right. Just this morning when I was talking to us, Lord. Go, I want to go to another level. Right? Well, I'm going to go to another level. I don't want to be comfortable. I want to go to another level, Lord. I want to go to another level. So what you do, guess what? You, when you tell the Lord you want to go to a level, um, you invite me. Yeah. Trouble. Yeah. Yes, you are. Yeah. But you don't go to another level without trouble. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. You don't go to a deep anointing without trouble, without circumstances happening, stuff coming your way. You don't go to another level. You want to go to another level with no pain. Watch this. Thank you, Holy Ghost. The greater, thank you, Jesus. The greater, watch this. The 
the greater, the closer, watch this, the closer Jesus moved to the cross, the more pain he experienced. Jesus. The closer he moved to, come on somebody. Come on. It, 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 oh, it, it wasn't the same when he was a baby. Uh -huh. It was in the manger. Come on somebody. But the closer he moved, come on somebody. He, listen, he went from strangers, come on, treat the wrong to his friends tonight. Oh, Jesus. Yes, he, did. he went from his friends denying him to watch the, to God turning his back on him. The closer you move to come, the cross, the more pain you're going to experience. The more stuff going to come your way. Right? You've been running good for 15 years with the Lord. You've been partying, having a good time. 15 some years with the Lord. He ain't hardly going through nothing. And he really ain't have a whole bunch of challenges like everybody else. And now, now the 16 year come, and now you have a little trouble, and now you're going to fall out. It ain't going to fall when the rabbit got to come. <laughs> now you got a little challenge tonight, and now you just want to sit down and die. And God said, No, I'm using this too. <laughs> I'm using this too to break this off you. Amen. 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 Allow God to break what you want to break off. Yes. Yes. Don't fight what God is doing. Don't fight the process. Jesus. Allow what God is doing. God wants to do it all. Listen, God, I, I praise you even in this, God. Amen. I don't like it, but I thank you. Yes. Don't allow nothing to nobody to steal your joy. Yes. Take away your joy. And then, yes. and then you make excuses for them taking away your joy. Amen. No. The devil is a lie. No, uh-uh. I don't like this, but I love the Lord. Amen. God, no, I'm going to give you some good sleep at night. Amen. I'm going to sleep at night. I ain't going to let nothing challenge me at night. Right? right. My, I ain't going to let nothing challenge my mind, challenge my heart. Amen. 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 Let him break it off. Amen. 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 Now listen, and before he break it off, you have to deal with you. Right? Guess what? Watch this. Go ahead and give it to him. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. I can't hear nobody. Yeah. Yeah. Here, 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 here you go, God. Here, 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 here you go. That's why he said, confess all our sins. Yeah. The Bible says, man who hides his sin, he cannot cross my eyes. You got to confess your sin to the Lord and tell the Lord, this is what's wrong with me. Yeah. Right. I ain't going to hide this thing. Right. This is what's wrong with me. Take it, Lord. Yes. I'm bringing it to you first, like he already know. Right? No, I'm telling you for you tell me. Right. Yes. Amen. 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 Come on, give the Lord a hand up for praise. Amen. Come on, y'all know what I'm saying. Come on, y'all know what I'm saying. Give the Lord a hand up for praise. Amen. Amen. Come on, y'all can do better than that. Give the Lord a hand up for praise. God is good. God is good. God is awesome. Amen. We love the Lord. Amen. Listen, is there anyone in here? Amen. Are we standing here? Amen. Does anyone here? Amen. That's not saved. Amen. Anyone here that's not saved, don't know the Lord as your personal Savior. You have not accepted the Lord as your personal Savior. We want to give you an opportunity at this time. If you're here today, you're not saved. It's God's desire that all be saved. That's his desire. That's his desire that all be saved. If you're here today and you're not saved, and you desire to be saved, we want to want you to be saved as well. If you're here. And also. As you're standing, if you're here today, and maybe you are saved, and maybe you, you're a bike slider. You ain't living the life of a saved person. If you're here today, and you're not living the life as a believer. You're not walking in the things of God. And you know you need to be. We're going to give you an opportunity to come and rededicate yourself to the Lord. You're here, and maybe you just had not been doing what you know you need to be doing. And you really, truly, in your heart, I want to rededicate yourself to the Lord. I want to give you an opportunity at this time to come and rededicate yourself to the Lord. You don't have to be a member of this church, amen, to rededicate yourself to the Lord. Maybe you're here today and you feel like this is the place that God wants you to join and be a part of this ministry, amen. We want to give you an opportunity to come and join this ministry. We'd love to have you. And as you're making up your mind, I want to read one scripture to you in Hebrews 12 and 
5, it says, My son, do not despise the chastening of the Lord, nor faint or be discouraged when you are rebuked by him. It says, for us not to be despised. That word despise uh, means to be, to treat lightly. And when the Lord is correcting you, you cannot treat that correction lightly. Then when he's trying to correct some stuff in your life, you gotta allow him to do it. You gotta allow him to do it. He said, don't treat that lightly, amen. Because the Bible said, warning comes before destruction. A haughty spirit comes before a fall. And if it's something that God is trying to correct in your life, he's giving you an opportunity, amen, to handle this here before it gets you later. And we're wanting to get us. And so God, we ask right now as these that have their hands raised, won't you raise your hand? Amen. Come on, everybody, just raise your hand. Father God, we raise our hands to you. And God, we ask right now, God, that you will forgive us for anything that we've done. And we ask, Father God, that you correct us, God. Because you said, whoever you don't correct, they don't belong to you. And we are your sons and your daughters. And we ask that you correct us as you see fit. And be with us as you said you would, God. As you correct us, you say you'll never leave us or forsake us. And we know that when you correct us, we are grateful that you're with us even in the correction. And so we bless you right now. We honor you and we give you praise. It's in your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Come on, give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Amen. 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 You all may be seated. Amen. As we prepare to give our offering to the Lord, give our tithes and offer to the Lord. And remember, amen, those of you, amen, we have several ways that you can give. Amen. We got cash out. Amen. I believe our push pay is working now. Amen. She'll put it on the screen. Amen. Remember, the Lord wants a cheerful giver. Amen. Also, as you're preparing to give your offering, I want you all, we have a YouTube page now. Amen. So I want y'all to, um, Amen. Subscribe to our YouTube page. Those of you all, amen. Subscribe to our YouTube page. Amen. It's ITW, amen, church. ITWI Church. Space Church. ITWI.